Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made these three cards using our gifted stamp set and our classic holiday bows layering set. Let's get started with stamping the 6x8 gifted layering set. Now, I've already gone ahead and cut out some of the SVG cut files on my Cricut, and then I'm going to stamp the three stamps in this set to get kind of a gift clustered result. Now, this is a different kind of layering stamp set that you might not be used to. Instead of that traditional layering over each other to get a dimensional look, Instead, we're going to be kind of piecing together the looks by stamping each layer, it's kind of like a puzzle. So instead of layering colors over each other, you're just going to use three separate inks to get a three-tone look. So this stamp set is much more easier to stamp than, you know, those traditional layering florals because here you kind of have a more two-dimensional result. Once all my stamping is complete, I'm going to make sure that the ink is completely dry because we have this last stamp. This will stamp all of the ribbons on these gift clusters. And I started off by inking up this large stamp with some embossing ink. And then I poured on some silver embossing powder and hit the whole thing with my heat gun. If you have any stray embossing powders, because some of the ink might still be wet, so it might catch some of the powders, just use a tiny paintbrush to get those strays off and you get this beautiful, clean embossed image. And it's just absolutely perfect for Christmas. You can experiment with different colors, but I chose to go with traditional Christmas colors. And now I'm gonna stamp our two layered holiday bows using our Valentine red dye ink and our Aspen Cocoa dye ink. This set is truly one of our classic stamp sets. We came out with this a few years ago. We were the first one to come out with a layering bow and it's just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous design and I use it every year. So I stamped out three and then I die cut each of them using their coordinating dies. And I also stamped out three more in green but I ended up not using the green. And now I have some A2 panels that I'm gonna do some clear heat embossing with three of our six by six rubber cling stamps. I'll be using our modern plaid, diagonal stripes, and delicate dots background stamps. So what I did was just ink up each background stamp with some embossing ink, placed it over the three A2 panels, and I stamped the prints onto the background panels. I also use my Baron tool to help get a nice crisp impression. Once all three panels were stamped, I poured on some Brutus Monroe Icicle Clear embossing powder and heated all three panels with my heat tool. For my gift clusters and the bows, since I use traditional Christmas colors, I wanted to use non-traditional colors for my background panels. So I chose a rich purple, a nice dark royal blue, and kind of a standard craft background panel for the three backgrounds. And you can see how the clear embossing powder really gives the backgrounds a nice tone on tone look that is gonna be nice and subtle against our gifted clusters. I wanted these panels to have more of a finished look to it. So to do that, I added some stitching to the edges of each panel by using the largest die from our Double Stitch Rectangles large die collection. Once all three panels had the stitching on them, I adhered each panel to a side folding A2 card base. And now I'm gonna start assembling my cards. I popped up a gifted cluster on each of my card bases, and then I started popping up the red holiday bows. Again, I stated earlier, I did not use the green ones because I liked how the red coordinated better with my cards. So I'll save the green ones for a future project. For my sentiment, I'll use our holiday sentiment strips uh, that I created. They're digital printables. I printed off one of each, the modern font and the type font. I cut all the strips and I have just a bunch waiting to be used on my holiday card. So I chose three 
and I pop them up on each of my cards right on top of the bow. And then lastly, I added some silver metallic sequins on all three cards and I adhered them using some Thermoweb Ultra Bond liquid adhesive. And now I have three complete cards that I can give away as a gift, as a set, or I can use them to just send my holiday cards this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and tutorial. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it weekly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.